Hello YouTube, it's your main man BTM here bringing you back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. Let's go. And this video is about Caspa. So it's kind of weird. All the Caspa people are kind of turning against each other. I thought that's kind of weird, especially with Caspa's price kind of being flat and then this KRC20 things being delayed. And now the 10 BPS upgrade will happen in December or January. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's your main man BTM here trying to give you some clarity to it. And also Jesse AI made a video, which I thought was weird as well, right? Uh, he kind of went after Crypto John, but he gave props to Crypto Galaxy, which is weird because even he said, Crypto Galaxy's picks are about 50% most of the time, which I don't know what's going on. I don't know why crypto's imploding or people are going after the YouTube influencers, but I told you guys, I don't know why you trusted these guys anyway, right? None of these guys have any financial background, any financial uh, services experience, and you guys are believing everything they're telling you, right? I've worked in financial services. Like I told these guys, this little stuff you're doing with crypto is cool. You know, it's funny games, but this ain't nothing. You guys are talking about a million, maybe $40 million. Seriously? This is pennies compared to what's going on in financial services. Like, literally, the SEC was investigating these guys that were shorting uh, GM stock for almost $350 million, $400 million. And you guys are talking about uh, uh, a crypto that somebody made $40 million on. The regulators aren't worrying about that. They're not even, just not even on the radar, right? They're going after real white collar crimes. Crypto's not even being regulated. There's not even that much money in it yet. So one thing is it's a good thing to get in now, right? And just hold. There's no reason to be arguing back and forth and telling people and name call and pointing fingers either you invest in it or you don't invest in it either you do your own research or you don't right there's no reason to worry about it and then you guys are talking about technical analysis technical analysis don't mean shit right especially in uh crypto right if somebody comes in and rug pulls you you can't see that in the technical analysis if somebody comes in and pumps and dumps that's not going to show up in any technical analysis the technical analysis these guys are doing is very simple, right? This little, I don't understand. But either way it go, I'm just going to show you the bubbles, and then we'll look at uh, Twitter, a couple of things happening with Casper. Then I want to look at this video with Jesse AI. So this is the bubbles. Popcat's up 34.3%. Not financial device, but I got in Popcat a long time ago. Uh, FTT's down up 7.7. .7. Alethea continues to drop, which is, I don't know what's going on here. It's down 3.6. Tiles up 11.4. Uh, AVT, which was up yesterday, big, dropped, which is um, pretty common, right? It's going to pump and people are going to take profits. It's going to drop, right? You don't need 20 minutes worth of financial uh, uh, analysis or TA to tell you that. Uh, Quants up 5.7. Mog is up 9.7. Uh, Cat with a hat's up 4.4. Uh, AI Tech's up 14.2, which I'm glad I got in that early. Cat with a hat is also a play I'm in, surprisingly. It's up 29.7. And it's not a financial advice. I don't even know how these guys are up or why they're up. It's just picks I got in early because it looked pretty promising. Uh, Kindu Inu, which is something a lot of people have been talking about, is up 36.6%. Jasmine's up 6.2. Flocky's up 8.2. Briar's up 9.8. Render's up 8.9. Galore's up 7.1. Avax is up 9.3. Fetch is up 5.9. Bonk is up 3.2. Let's go to Twitter real quick. So this is the Black Tiger Miner Twitter page, which you can pick up, which is also weird that most of the financial advice is coming from Twitter and not even YouTube. But this is Casper Silver. So he's saying I bought three months worth of Xbox Live Gold 
with Casper using Coinbase. Uh, I guess that's coin coin bees. I guess sent one hundred and sixty two twenty five dollars for Casper, paid zero point zero zero one Cas, accepted in two point six minutes. I don't know that I would be selling my Cas to buy uh Xbox Live Gold points. Kind of remind me of the guy that was buying pizza with his Bitcoin. Uh, and then he bought um the Olive Garden dinner with uh 326 cash for approximately fifty dollars uh paid a fee of zero 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 one cash accepted in 20 seconds and i'm not sure where he is but who is accepting casper at olive garden i don't know but shout out to casper silver because casper silver has been holding it down and of the casper influencers he's probably the least biased and the one that gives the most real information not a lot of fluff not a lot of fake technical analysis and not a lot of uh influencer uh nonsense so this is casper currency thanks casper keel and peven son uh, pv son i don't know joining casper on the next epoch uh elt history Cash was well positioned to become a pivotal cornerstone in the industries like clean energy and related carbon emission reduction markets. And he's right, but it's going to take some time. I think a lot of people are in crypto to become multimillionaires overnight, and it's not going to happen like that, guys. I keep telling you, I keep trying to tell you, don't waste your money on these discords. Don't waste your money on this technical analysis that don't mean shit. And don't waste your money listening to YouTubers with no financial services advice. That's just, I don't know. Even people who sell financial services tell you, right, if they're certified in um, financial services or if they're certified to sell these service, right? So I don't know. But let me know what you guys think about that. And I want to play this video from Jesse. Caspa social media is becoming notorious for scam artists and it's giving the project a bad name. You wonder why the big YouTubers won't cover Caspa? It's because every hype vulture, every pump chaser in crypto is making content about Caspa. Now is the perfect time to release this video. While the market and Caspa's price is trending sideways, we can take a moment to reflect into our community thanks to a new content creator called fudster we'll put a link to his video below this guy has a special skill set that involves uh, i hear fudster is releasing a new video so uh keep an eye out for that involves wallet tracking and he's starting to prove the caspa content creators are actually using their vip groups to rug their patrons this video does a deep dive into the skill sets, trading techniques, and most importantly, the performance of the Caspa content creators. You see, Caspa has been the number one performing asset for two years in a row. It has massive spikes to the upside. This attracts the absolute worst characters on all of social media. People just looking around for the recent pump to create FOMO hype videos about it in order to lure new investors into their Patreon group. Meanwhile, these are the type of traders with minimal skill sets to offer. Who am I to judge? This channel has created the most profit over the past 14 months. We were the first to go all in on Caspa, starting the trend of having a Caspa majority position. In May of 2023, all of these other creators were advising everybody to start loading their bags with altcoins, assuming the bottom was in. Because of our knowledge with FOMC meetings and monetary policy, we knew that the market was about to have a massive downside. Therefore, we shorted AVAX. This was one of the first 10 videos we ever uploaded. 
shorting AVAX and shorting quant. Meanwhile, all the comments, everybody thought we were nuts, thought we were going to lose money. Fast forward 45 days later, AVAX is more than cut in half, and we doubled our $12,500 into 30 k as you guys can see, I live in a million dollar condo on Las Vegas Boulevard. The reason we started with $12,500 is because that's the minimum buy-in into a major poker game. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, every Berkshire Hathaway meeting, take 15 minutes to crack jokes at financial advisors that teach diversification, knowing through their wisdom, Mark Cuban says this as well, the best way to invest is go all in on your number one strongest asset. Therefore, on this tier list, Caspa Silver is setting the gold standard. We're going to place him right on the A tier. All of these other VIP groups, as of today, not during the peak of the 2025 bull market, right now, at the worst of the worst after the Japan carry trade, they've either offered additional value monetarily or they're nothing but a fugazi. This brings us to red flag number one, teaching technical analysis. There's no- My point exactly. How are people teaching technical analysis that aren't even in financial services? People are saying, oh, you don't read well, or you don't pronounce words well, but you guys are listening to crooks, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Nobody in the CASPA community besides myself that teaches technical analysis accurately through the repeating trend line system. In fact, right now, where we sit today at 16.15 cents, the candle is directly where we predicted it would be inside VIP from 10 days ago. It's following the X axis repeating trend line. This trend line repeats itself over and over again when you combined it with other indicators other charting secrets we don't put on the main channel and monetary policy bond sale fomc meetings you get massive insight helping people buy cold storage at 11.5 over a year ago at the absolute bottom of the cup after the june 15th fomc meeting catching the 10x leverage trade in november opening vip and doing the first leverage trade on february 1st before this spike right as we got rejected on this y-axis repeating trend line creating another head and shoulder pattern a classic pattern commonly marking tops on caspa we were able to put a stop loss warning out for everybody to close the trade at 18 cents. Although the Japan carry trade was a black swan event, our technical analysis is still showing profit today, as well as people are getting a skill set. Our buy alerts don't come out at the same moment. Every single one of the trades we just discussed was planned ahead seven days in advance. And this brings us to red flag number two. All of these other creators do instant buy alerts. Unless you're sitting on your laptop, specifically Archie is notorious for this. And people have noticed this in his group and they'll be quickly blocked. He'll do a buy alert as something's already up 15, 20%. It might do 35, 40 for the breakout. And then in retrospect, he claims he timed the entire breakout. Meanwhile, he catches it halfway through. That's when the buy alert comes out. You have literally moments to act. It's as we roll through the rest of these creators that this video is going to start to get really interesting. Kicking it off with Sepral. He's the absolute worst of the worst. He arrived on the Caspa scene late into the five cent mark. This guy's never picked a winner and is too right out of the box he starts a channel off and his favorite picks are hello labs and lit labs he's saying you need to have huge allocations in this 20 to 30 percent in each half of your portfolio in game five with these two selections both of them were always going to rug last year we were making videos warning everybody sell your g file do not buy Lit Labs. Stay away from Hello Labs. These videos performed worse than any other content we've ever made. The comments were filled with hate. The dislike ratio was greater than the like.
And that's what I was telling you guys. Some of you guys are not used to being disliked, which is weird to me. But I mean, sometimes you're going to say things and people aren't going to agree with you. So it doesn't really matter much, right? I don't know how would you would stop making videos because people don't like what you're saying. If you have conviction in what you're saying, say it anyway. That's the only thing I like about Jesse. Although Jesse's pretty smart and has really good picks, he sticks on what he stands. Jesse AI stands on business, right? If he told you something and it didn't happen, he'll tell you it didn't work out. If it did work out, he's going to let you know it worked out. Versus some of these guys I'll tell you something, it's a rug pull, and then they stop talking about it, right? Never bring it up again. That's not very good for standing on business. Ratio as the Casper community was fooled by Sepral and Archie doing these team up videos, chatting away so confident that they're Hello Labs. This is a game that was made by YouTubers a token created by content creators. There's no way I would touch that with a 10 foot pole lit labs. This is a textbook definition pump and dump. Look at the token unlocks. They happen at the exact same date that this massive spike to the upside happens. Of course, once that FOMO hype train hits, that's when these vulture style creators start making all this content about it. Everybody says, wow, Lit Labs just did like a 600X. And now Sepral's like, by the end of this year, it'll do another 100. I know this because it's trust me bro style. And they're live streaming it together. And they're absolute fools. This is a textbook rug pull. The team is getting paid on the day it pumps. That's a textbook rug pull. Crypto Galaxy is somebody on this list who is definitely not a scammer. In fact, Crypto Galaxy has some form of talent in finding strong crypto projects. He came. So again, how could you FUD Crypto John and support Galaxy, which is weird. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even understand the logic here, but let's keep with the video. Came up with G Fowl early. He was also one of the first guys to grab onto Caspa, although his original portfolio very mysterious. BNB, Shiba Inu, Dodge, a 30% allocation in Caspa and a 20% allocation in some crap coin called PIP. It was later as Caspa reached five cents, we had started winning the argument against Son of a Tech. It was Caspa Silver, Galaxy, and myself taking on all of social media, proving to everybody rightfully that the ASICs weren't going to dump the price. That's what some of the tech and all these haters were trying to fill everyone's mind with. Galaxy came to the conclusion that my all-in position on Caspa was the right way to go, and he changed his portfolio over into a majority position on Caspa. Galaxy, because he went with your position it's kind of weird because in the beginning you said he didn't know what he was talking about so i don't know i'm just kind of weird that there's a lot of he said she said kind of going on right now and everybody's pointing the finger and the market's not even doing anything i would hate to see what's going to happen when it actually starts to pump again that is working on the fly, that's improving. That's being aware of your own ego and keeping yourself in check. That's why Galaxy is at the top of this list. In fact, he's above B tier. We're gonna put him side by side with Caspa Silver. Here's why. All of these crazy picks Galaxies came up with over the years, the Bretts, the Turbos, the Pump Chasing, yeah, he does some of that vulture style content with the meme coins. And yes, he did get caught up in the game fi. He was still on Hello Labs. He was still on Lit Labs. He did have one hit. And realistically, with your side bag, which is what Galaxy's teaching, a 10, 20% allocation in these high risk plays, he got a hit with Neon. He got a 60 or 100X there. And that's all it takes. He's doing a good job compared to the rest of these guys who are absolute clowns. Sepral, we're not even gonna continue to honor him with another word. Archie, in my opinion, they're actually real life friends. 
Archie kept promoting Sepro's channel on his, building him a platform, giving him a career in cryptocurrency. Meanwhile, he doesn't have any skill sets. Neither of these two guys do their own technical analysis. They're hiring some guys from India to do charting for them or whoever they're hiring. It's absolutely ridiculous. And because these two got caught up in the whole GameFi hype, they they haven't been beating Casper Silver. That's just a fact. I'm not talking about my opinion on the clothes they wear, the way they talk. They're cool guys. They haven't put the puck in the hoop. And that's the bottom line. And this brings us to the worst of the worst. Crypto John. His entire narrative, I'm a hardworking guy with a full-time job who works overtime. Meanwhile, I videotape myself and research crypto. I can tell you from personal experience, researching crypto and running a YouTube channel is a 60 hour a week gig minimum. There's so much work to do. To think that he can handle a full-time job with overtime hours and you're hiring on a guy like that to help you with your investing, that's your mistake at this point, honestly. Looking at John's pick from this cycle, they're just as bad. Not only did he get in with Hello Labs, Lit Labs, he's the biggest pump FOMO vulture. That's why he was in early on Caspa because it went up on April. He's only got like a 10% allocation, 5% in Caspa originally. Of course, he's been building it up more around 10 cents as the rest of his bag is complete garbage quant just look at the quant chart it's a giant head and shoulder pattern into a massive descending triangle this is textbook bearish textbook do not invest your money in of course john he knows technical analysis doesn't actually work so he makes the exact same mistake again on flux gigantic descending triangle will never see any upside repeating the same mistake thinks he knows it all yeah a lot of people got out of flux i got out of flux early i had a flux miner and set up a flux node and realized pretty quickly it wasn't profitable right it doesn't take technical analysis or a genius to know when something's pumping and it's not pumping once it starts to go down and it doesn't go sideways, time to get out, folks. But this is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes. This is me just joking around with the influencers, right? Just don't take it personal. Don't come with me a bunch of weird comments and a lot of extra garbage. Keep it to yourself. But this is Black Tiger Miner uh, signing out. I don't know if I can keep pushing the video or I guess I'll just sign out. Uh, thanks for joining. And remember, let's get back to the money, guys, and stay dangerous.